All right, we are going to um, <clears throat> give the microphone a little bit of test here before we begin today. All right, she sounds good. I think the audio levels are where they need to be for everything to run smoothly today. I'm going to pop uh, OBS into performance mode. Just in case. All right, this is As Dusk Falls. I don't know anything about this game. I vaguely remember seeing the trailer for it during what was supposed to be our E3 events, but they were not E3 events. Um, yeah, I, I said, okay, I'll play that for kicks and giggles. It'll be something new, the channel, you know, something non-Nintendo related. Um, playing this through the, the game pass. And uh, there's nothing left to do today. We've tweeted it out. Everybody knows we're live. Um, all we really need to do now is just go, uh, go and get started. switch the controller please there we go what is broadcast mode oh that is so cool active broadcast mode allows your twitch audience to vote on in-game choices via stream chat wow too bad i don't have an audience that's okay We'll just... Okay. Add a new profile. Ah, uh, okay. Be a cursor to find him when you get a pad to navigate. Should I play with keyboard and mouse? Maybe I can just play this with keyboard and mouse. Loading. His beard is loading. <clears throat> wow, you can play with the controller, mouse, or phone. My name is Zoe Walker. Not so long ago, I wanted to be a journalist. Now, I just want to hold my breath and sink. Not because I want to black out, but for the calm that comes beforehand. When thoughts die and memories drown. 90 seconds. That's about how long it takes for me. And suddenly, it's like none of it ever happened. Daddy? 
Are we gonna play? Sorry, Pumpkin. You, you bet we're gonna play. Now, I know you're an expert, but are you sure you've looked at everything? Mm -hmm. Trust me, I got this. Okay. Then what color is... Ooh, move my cursor around. Um, that big truck way up there. Depends what part of the truck. Okay, Smarty. How about the exhaust pipe? Um, that's where all the smoke comes out. And it's gray. <laughs> hey, you are rocking this today, Zoe. Looks like you're ready for the next level. What's the next level? You ask me one final question. If I don't get it on the first try, <laughs> you win the whole game. Let's play it. Okay. Let me just have one last look around. The guy under that tree over there. What's Ready? he doing? Okay. Shoot. Um, how many stars are on my backpack? Hmm. Is it five? Nope, it's six. Mm. I win! Oh. I win! <laughs> oh, did I doze off? Mommy, I won! You did? Great job, love bug. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Come on, back in the car. We still got 45 states license places to spot. <clears throat> hey. Hey. You. You doing okay? Yeah, sure. It's, uh. You know, I'm fine, Michelle. We're good. <sighs> Why are you guys acting weird again? It's nothing, hon. Just a long trip. I tell you, the only thing worse than feeding a dog fast food is smelling it again on the way out. Grandpa! Wait, I'm your grandpa? All this time, I thought you were my grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> How far did you walk? I was worried you got lost. Oh, just to the tree. You know dogs. They think they're the ones holding the leash. All right, crew, buckle up. I want to make it to Albuquerque before we stop for the night. Albuquerque. You're listening to Drive Time on K. Blackstaff's first and finest. It's another beautiful Arizona afternoon, and your weekend starts here. I know this song. Friday by the sound. Then it's good. Oh, so, what's wow. next? Then it's good. Another round of row, row, row your boat. <laughs> she fell asleep halfway through your solo. You definitely get first prize for keeping her entertained. I am not entertaining. I am shepherding. <laughs> you are my flock, and I plan to herd you to St. Louis in high spirits. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Wasn't taking the scenic route your idea? I wanted to do this trip at 30,000 feet. Oh, I'm not complaining about the drive. I'm just trying to picture Vince living in the Midwest. Then it's a vacation. Let's just pretend this is a vacation. Family trip, Route 66. We collect a few pressed pennies. <laughs> and then back to Sacramento. Vince, we can't. That's not our life anymore. Look, I'm just trying to stay positive. <laughs> You've got your tenure. I've got my new job. <laughs> Couldn't make me work for a pet food company if it was the only job left in the country. Jim, I don't think that's helping. Ten thousand bucks. You should have gone for the jugular, sued those bastards at the airline the way they pinned that thing on you. Not signed some settlement paper. I haven't signed it yet. But you still want to, right? 
I know it's your call, but I think it's time to put this whole thing behind us. I know, it's just... It's hard. And once I sign, that's it. I'll never work for an airline again. I know. Ooh, he almost got run over. <laughs> Vince was a good kid, but he always did let people walk all over him. When he was small, you asked me to buy you these cheap action figures so you'd have something to give the kids at school when they picked them. What was I like in high school, huh? Ouch. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. If you two didn't want me to come, you could have said so. Zoe wanted you to come. Ooh, what's happening here? Uh, I'm gonna stay out of it. Well, Zoe appreciates me, even if no one else does. <laughs> oh, look at her little face. She wouldn't dream of making an old man feel he wasn't. <laughs> Well, that's unsettling. That's really unsettling. I had a dream about an accident. What happened? She's just shaken, I think. Oh no. Great. Hey, thanks for coming back. Learn how to drive, asshole. Are you kidding me? Country kids, or oh, a desert version. Lucky we're still in one piece. <laughs> Man, the look on his face. I hope he didn't see our license plate. Uh, stupid fucker was too busy yelling into the wind. Jesus. Learn to drive. 28 Northwood. Ugly as hell. These houses all look the same to me. Jay, you ready? Jay! What? Head out of the clouds, little bro. Knew we shouldn't have brung him. Come on. He'll pull his weight. Look, this is just like we talked about. There's enough cash in that safe to put the last few weeks behind us. We stay alive, we keep the house, everything goes back to normal. Uh... Hmm. Who lives here? You haven't told me whose house this is. It doesn't matter who. You're always out skulking in the woods, climbing trees and all that. We all know you're good at it. And you want to help the family, right? You know I do. Then here's your chance. Hop that fence and find a way in. Whoa. Does Ma know you took that? Nope. But someone's got to watch your backs. We got one hour before they're home. If you hear three honks, you run like hell. Hey, let's party. Dale, the code. Jay can read. Don't screw this up, kid. We're counting on you. All right. You go do your Tarzan bullshit over the back gate. I'll try the garage. Never know when you might get lucky. Oh, boy. Probably a bad idea, but I'm going to talk hey, to her. Your name's Cletus, right? Mine's Jay. I get it. You're just protecting your turf. That's what we're doing here, too. In a way. It's okay. I 
just need something from inside. That's a good boy. Oh, that's convenient. Okay. He has a dog, but I got past. What's that? <laughs> Idiot. The sheriff? Did we break into the sheriff's Whose house? house? Is this? Dante oh. Romero. Oh no. The king of the pigs. Wait, the sheriff? Yep. You know Ma's beef with him goes way back. Even before he sent me to Juvie. I know, but... But what? The way I see it, he owes us. So, we ought to fuck this place up a little while we're at it. Tyler said we only have an hour. Maybe we should start looking for the safe. Ah, whatever. What'd you do that for? They might test it or something. Oh, come on. This is Two Rock, not NYPD Blue. Now get looking for that safe. All right, let's check behind the painting first. To hide a safe. Or not. Uh, did he leave his wallet here? Left his wallet. Told you he's an idiot. That means he's here. You find anything? No. Maybe it's upstairs. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. What are you doing? It's for my girlfriend. You don't have a girlfriend. Shut up. I'm working on it. Hey, when life gives you lemons, <laughs> come here. Help me get a little payback. Oh, no. We shouldn't waste time. And anyway, that's gross. Ah, uh, you're a fucking wimp. You know that? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Listen to yourself. All right. Enough screwing around. You look upstairs, and I'll check the rest of the rooms down here. Okay. Oh, no. He doesn't live here alone, does he? Jumbo jets, you think I'd be able to fix a car? You okay? Yeah, sure. Seen one motel, you've seen them all. You guys go on ahead. Get a bottle of water. Jamal, Ryan's mom said I could stay over tonight. Don't wait up. Ding, ding, ding. You've got Time Warner investing in AOL. You've got Pets.com talking IPO. I think we're headed for a huge first year. 
of the new millennium. Okay, then. What about hey. the online media? Sorry story? about that. We've got a number of Thanks for waiting. Out there now. Hi. We got in an accident a few miles east of here. I don't suppose you have a couple of empty rooms and the number for a tow truck? Ooh, no dice. Our mechanic's away in Tucson for the weekend. All right, then, just the two rooms. That'll be 70. <laughs> Cash only. I've got, uh, 52. That's enough for one room. Hey, Joyce! I'm doing something! Please, if you could trust me to pay the rest tomorrow, it would mean a lot. My daughter, she really needs her sleep, and my dad is one hell of a snorer. Oh, the sweetheart. If this is all just to cheat me out of a few dollars... Hi, I'm Michelle. Thanks so much for accommodating us. Well, we're not exactly full. Glad to help. It was a fuse again. Problem with not having breakers is... Oh, hey. Welcome to Two Rock. Paul, do me a favor. Go ask Norman to tow this guy's car back here to the lot. Ah, uh, dang. You burst a tire or something? I I'm pretty good at fixing stuff. Engine problem, actually. But you're welcome to try. It's a red SUV. East. You can't miss it. I'm on it. Hey, do I know you? Nah. People just mistake me for Clint Eastwood. Ugh. Thank God we're out of that heat. <laughs> Are we on vacation now? Do we get to go in the pool? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Our swimsuits are in the moving truck. And stop jumping on the bed, okay? Then, can I watch the Nature Channel? Please? Hey, I said stop jumping. I'll stop if you let me watch my show. It's educational. <laughs> no harm in all, all right, watching a little TV. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. And you have to tell me some cool facts afterwards. Man, we raised one hell of a negotiator. It's been a tough day. She can have this one. Oh. You okay? Uh, I don't know. It feels pretty sore. Would you mind robbing it for a minute? Nice room. Looks just like mine. Well, I'm gonna take Zeus for a walk. Vince, uh, would you mind joining me? Didn't we just walk a mile? Well, he has to pee, and I wanna talk to you about something. All right, I really want to stay with her. She seems like she needs me, but this might be important. Sure, I'll come. Oh, oh no. Did I make the wrong decision? Feels like I did. <laughs> having me yanking the chain like that when you two are so on edge are you about to give me marriage advice because if I recall you walked out on yours no no oh damn I just wanted to say thank you for these last few months getting to know you again getting to know Zoe it's been a blessing I'm glad she got to meet you know the worst part about living with having this tumor in my head the question mark of it all how long do I have am I making the right choices <laughs> you make a good shrink you know that <laughs> more like a neurotic patient well you're not wrong I do ask myself all those things but they're not what I meant is the guilt the never-ending guilt. I disappeared for 30 years. I can only imagine how that must have been for you and your mother. Oh, so I could get high and flip off the world. Huh. 
How could you have thought you'd be happier without your family? I mean, without mine, I'd, I'd be... I don't know. I guess I just never liked being tied down. With a family, I felt... Trapped? But not by you. By the responsibility. I think it's the same thing. I'm sorry, Sam. I am. And I know I've done nothing to earn your trust, but I need to ask you something. Okay. The doctors, they say I might have as little as two years. They don't have a clue, of course. But, well, I know you said you could drop me in Tulsa, that I tracked down some friends there. Just spit it out, Jim. How would you feel about me living in the new house with you and Zoe and Michelle? Are you serious? Six months ago, I didn't even know you were alive. Now you want me to... To... I, 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 I don't want to be sick in a hospital. I want to be around family. Ma'am, you know what? I need to talk to my partner first about this. <sighs> Jesus. All right. I'll talk to Michelle. Really? I don't know what to say. Thank you. Come on, let's go celebrate. Oh, hey there. Got your car towed back for you. You were right. It's more than I can fix with duct tape and a socket wrench. What do I owe you? Nothing. Your guests. Get it round back, quick. What in the world? On the ground, now! Oh, we better do it. <laughs> okay. Good boy. Now hang on. You don't need to call for help. Nobody's gonna hurt you, okay? Can she speed? Okay, right. I guess she can. I'm sorry. Look, we just came for the money, then we're gone. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. oh no! Don't you know? Doesn't he tell you? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't pry. Oh. Thank you. Everything okay up there? It's fine. I'm gonna try his office. That a boy. It has to be in here. Let's see. We'll start by checking the desk to obvious places. And then we'll look at the bookcase. I don't know how many birds are in Arizona, but it can't be a lot. But we're taking the book now, huh? I'm going to check behind the painting because it's a cartoon. Here. Bullet holes, huh? Hmm? 
<laughs> Gross. <laughs> Check it a second time. Damn! I found it! What the? Where's the code? I am so glad that I wrote this down. I'm gonna run out of time just trying to put it in. Yes. Whoa. I knew Dale, I'd better write it down. Check it out. Holy shit. <laughs> How much does this prick make? Here. Let's load it up. Man. If I had as much money as this greedy asshole. I'd give it all to charity. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. <sighs> Hell no, I wouldn't. I'd run and buy a 64 Pontiac GTO. Prettiest piece of metal you ever saw on four wheels. Ugh. What about you? Now, what would you do if you could keep all this cash? I think I'd get the hell out of Taj. I'd get a bus ticket and get out of this dump. What, you gonna leave us? <sighs> Maybe. I'm 18 now. Good luck with that. Last time a Hulk got out of two rocks, it was never. <sighs> He's gonna come home in the middle of this, isn't he? Play it cool when we're outside. Hey, we were plumbers. Call to check a clog. <sighs> Go. Not coming up, just came from my wallet. Got your PT rescheduled for Monday, by the way. I swiped. Fuck. I know you're here, whoever you are. You broke into the wrong house. Why don't you just come out here and we can handle this like men? Fuck, I tapped! Shit. Come on with your hands where I can see them. Now! Count to ten. And go. Who are you? Just a guy who wanted a VCR. What did you do to my wife? What? On your knees. Hands behind your head. This is C1. I got a 13506 in progress at 28 Northwood Drive. Send back up now. I'm going to regret this. Take off that mask. Let me see your stupid boot. Come on. Hey, what's up? We gotta get the hell out of here. I don't know what happened. Little brother saved my ass is what happened. Did you get the money? Oh, we got it all right. <sighs> nice work, guys. Hold on tight.
The music is so goddamn loud. I turned it down to 30%. I thought we lost him at the junkyard. Think they saw us turn in? No. They would have slowed. Listen up! We're not here to hurt you. We don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. Don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. Understood? <laughs> oh. We understand. Oh. Whatever you say. Good. That's what I want to hear. You, keep that dog quiet. Shh. It's all right, Tux. Let's just jack a car. Drive back the other way before they realize they're not chasing anyone. Too risky. If they got roadblocks. Vince, we need to do something. Uh, they have guns. What can we do? They have guns. So we take their guns away and get our faces blown off. Jesus, Jim, this isn't die hard. We can't stay here. We can until dark. Then we set out cross country. It's our best shot. I'm telling you, we gotta drop move. the weapon. Oh, hello. Easy now. Let's I just... said drop it. Look, I don't know her very well, but I think she means business. No one asked you. He's right, though. I go down to the range twice a week. Joyce, if that thing goes off... Then I'll scrape them off the walls. But it don't have to be like that. If we help these boys out of whatever corner they got themselves stuck in... I'm not helping them with shit. Show me your faces. I said take off the masks. Old boys. You're the ones who hit our car. Paul, take the shotgun. I, I... I'm sorry, I can't. Christ. Really, Paul? You, grab the gun. <laughs> now point it at him. Uh, you do that, I promise you'll regret it. I'm gonna listen to him. He probably knows something I don't. Right. No more guns. truck it away it's it's in a shutout back Tyler these people didn't do anything to us they will if we let them you and Dale line them all up I need to make a call it's me we got a problem desert green motel all right, shitheads. Over by the tables. You boys. You haven't hurt anyone, have you? Nah, we killed the president. Ain't that right, bro? You're the middle brother. The one who got himself sent off to juvenile hall. Shut the fuck up. Why? Everybody knows. Joyce, don't. From what I hear, you're just like your daddy. Another fucked up Holt thinks the world's his to break. What, like this? Or how about this? Come on, man. Is that necessary? Are you necessary? Shut it up. Now, he's a dog. He doesn't have an off switch. It's just nervous, Dale. I don't care what it feels. I want it to shut up. Zeus, remember me? I said, shut the fuck up. Dale, what are you doing? 
It's called controlling the room. By pointing guns at puppies? Wasn't breaking the Kazdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me. Or what? You'll break my face too? Or are you just gonna shoot me? Zeus, quiet. Joyce, please. What? You're riling him up. You think I'm scared of him? He's just a high school dropout who thinks he's some tough guy. He's gonna shoot you. Look, I saw a kid leaving when I first arrived here. He's yours, right? What does he have to do with us? I'm just saying, one parent to another. If things go wrong here, the last thing you want is him growing up without a mom. Shh. Uh, shh. Hey, it's all right. Good. Now stay that way. What the hell is going on out here? Nothing you gotta worry about. All right, it's settled. We stay put about an hour and leave once it's dark. Fuck, a whole hour? Hold on. Why do they have so much luggage? Who else are you traveling with, huh? You tell me the truth now. Fuck. Uh... Just me and my father. We're on a road trip to sort of get to know each other again. There's a lot of stuff for just two men. No, it's true. It's just him and the older fella. I checked them in myself. There's no one else. You know something? I don't like you. You got this look like you're scared shitless. Tell me I'm wrong. Of course I'm scared shitless. <laughs> Uh oh It's a cop. What do we do? That's just Big Sam. He buys a soda, talks for a while, then he's gone. Jay, in the back. Go with him. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the cop. You hear me? Sure thing, boss. You two, keep your mouths shut and this will all be over faster. <laughs> You're coming with me. Hey there. Evening. Hey, Sam. Paul, how's things? Slow as usual. Yeah, like my daddy always said. If you don't slow down, you don't see the wall before you hit it. <laughs> Where's uh, Joyce and her kid? Upstairs? Oh, uh, Ash is at a friend's house for the night, and Joyce isn't feeling well. She's been in bed for days. Uh, so, say, uh, you haven't seen three fellas in a blue pickup, have you? Maybe out on the road somewhere? Nope. Been here all day. How you liking the desert dream? Oh, uh, can't complain. Yeah, Joyce runs herself a tight ship. So, who else are you traveling with? Oh, just me and my dad over there. Evening, officer. Oh. So, uh, why the booster seat? Huh? I saw your car when I pulled in. California plates? Oh, I, um, I have a kid. Back home. But you know how it is. The seat lives in the car. True. We got two living in the back of the Bronco. Can I uh, ask what brings you to Two Rock? Oh, cops. Don't know when to fuck off and stop asking vaca vacation moving on the run. I'm going to go with the joke one. We're on the run. America's most wanted. 
We blew a tire. We're just here for the night. Big Sam, where you at? <laughs> There's a dream, but I'm on my way back. Anyway, we're looking for three idiots who broke into the sheriff's house. If you can believe anyone would be that stupid. They're armed and dangerous, so if you hear anything, you call 911. Any idea who it was? Nah, they covered their faces so they uh, wouldn't be recognized. Oh, is that why? Which choice better for me? Daddy! Mommy said I can stay up late today. Oh, shit. What took you so long? <laughs> no! Hang on, who are you? I'm his wife. Is something the matter? You're his, uh, right. You said it was just you and your dad. Vince, what's happening? Come on, we need to get Zoe out of here. What? Why? Just do it. H hold on. Uh oh. Dispatch, this is 1742. I, uh, I have suspicious circumstances at my location. Please send additional. Sam! Well, you lie shit. about your family and try to get us caught. Vince, look out! Oh, crap! Please, no, hey, stay out. should put the gun down. Or maybe you keep your toys for once. Is this really what you want? In front of your kid? Fuck. <laughs> I can't just shoot the guy. I mean, I'm not a murderer, but if I, if I surrender the gun, things are going to get really ugly. No! Oh, decisions. <laughs> See, I knew you'd be sensible, but I can't let you get away with that. Um, that can't just be the end, can it? Um, oh, it's the end of a chapter. Okay, I was like, that can't be the end of the game. I've never played one of these before. I'm pretty excited. I've never played the branching. I've seen Let's Players play these before with the branching stories. You'd have to play this game 50 times just to get everything.
Chapter 2. I never killed a person before today, and I don't want to do it again. But you are really pushing your luck. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. My legs are shaking. Vince, you can't try to fight these people. I know why you did it, but you just can't. Who knows where they were going to take you? I have to keep you and Zoe safe. I have to, you know? Brave is good. Dying is bad, okay? Yeah, okay. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. <sighs> Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever happened. <gasps> Well, things just got worse. We're not going anywhere. Fuck! It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. Sheriff's Department. But you assholes know that already. The good news is, in Arizona, burglary is a class three felony. You can practically get off with a warning. The bad news is, your dipshit's broken to my house with my goddamn wife home. Jay, check they can't get in the back. <laughs> you people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Keep the ringer on in there. Surrender. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Take him in the back there and destroy that radio. Dante will get us out. He's too strong minded for his own good half the time, but he gets things done. You sound like you know him pretty well. It's a small town. Everyone knows everyone. Good Wonder point. if he knows Ash isn't here tonight. Ash is your son? Yeah. Best thing I ever did. We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. <laughs> the back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler. I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves... Don't say it. Romero's impatient, and these small-town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. Is someone gonna get that? The police are gonna catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Enough! Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. Let's crack a joke. Hey, guys. What do bank robbers eat for dessert? Uh, Heist cream. You get it? <laughs> You're an idiot. You know that? I mean, it was kind of funny. You see? He gets it. You just don't have a sense of humor. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time out. Jay? 
Make sure nobody answers the damn phone. Keep your mouth shut. And don't make me come in here again. I don't want to have to come in there. There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again. Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? It's no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe. Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? It. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One, two. <laughs> if it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? Get at him. Lock the door. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker, and I'm... My family, we're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Oh, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. He's... They sh shot him. He's dead. Hello? I called him Big Sam. He was a good man. What else can you tell me about what's going on in there? <sighs> the people doing this? There's three of them. I'm a squeal. The manager said they're the, um... The Holt boys? Oh, no shit. <laughs> well, that explains a few things. Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. What else? You're good. Keep going. Shit. Uh... The youngest brother, the one they call Jay? He's just a kid. I don't even think he wants to be here. Probably bullied into it, but listen. It's good to identify a weak link for us and, and for you. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. The middle brother, I think his name's Dale. He seems sort of a loose cannon, maybe. Yep, that's Dale. Almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. And sooner than you think. Just keep your eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. Keep your people 30 yards from the motel and don't call us again. What did you tell him? I told him everything, you fuck. I told them what's happening here. That the Holtz were behind it. Fuck! <laughs> These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him. And he does not care about any of us. And you do? Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. Look, I know he's a cop and cops are shit. But there's a child involved here. Oh, fantastic. So, let's see. 12 years as a flight mechanic. 
pretty high up. Then, one day, bam, bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, keep the check. It won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. Lib dance. You could stick your hand in and your pen right up your ass. Oh, so you do have a little fight left in you, huh? <sighs> Sign a no oh, damn shit. gag order. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. Probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I just... I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office. A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by 7. I'm just gonna pick up China. <sighs> Zoe! Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? Uh... An AC looked pretty bad. Okay. This is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck. There should be... Well, this is obviously alien technology. Cool ethereal thermostat control. It's AC by Vince. A bit of a cool start to the day, gradually getting warmer, with a high of around 93 degrees. Mostly dry with a humidity of around 69. Well, the weather's the same as here, at least. Come on, Tony. If Jordan can do it, you can do it. Don't watch the game! Well, what the hell, ref? My kid can make a better call than that. You don't have a time yeah, we're good. you wasted. What's next? Chaperone's wasting, wasting time watching TV. All right, on the home stretch now. Just in time. Daddy! Hi, Pumpkin. How was your last day? Okay, I guess. Mainly gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? 
Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, hmm, shrimp. By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Awesome. You took care of everything. <laughs> yeah, the couch tried to stop me with a five o'clock nap, but I got it done. Another bad night's sleep? Are you feeling any better? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the... You know what, never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure Aww. you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed when you get noodled up. <laughs> Come on. Let's get your jammies on. So, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently. About something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but the thing about dreams is maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like what? We all have things that scare us, like the dark, and that's okay. I guess we just learn to live with it until maybe one day we won't be afraid anymore. So when I'm older, I might not even need my star lamp. <laughs> Try to sleep. <laughs> okay. Love you all the way to the moon. Love you too. Ugh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? <laughs> well done. I'd better go kiss her goodnight before she drops off. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Oh no. Who's Bruce? No. No outage. The dam's jerk. Scale. Keep a lookout. On it. I need to get the hell out of here. We can get out of here. Don't look at us. No. Search this desk first. The window's too obvious. That's the desk. Hairpin. Could be useful. There's one out back, but it doesn't work. So I suppose I can not getting out that way. Go do it. Hey! I can't believe that actually worked. I can't believe it worked either. Nah. Dark out there. You can barely see us. Get some rope. We should tie up the hostages. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. <laughs> Is 
Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin. It's Daddy. What was that? The office, they were real quiet. There, that one came from the hall. Why are they hiding here? Because I don't know what else to do. Hey, it's me. It's Vince. I'm coming in. Daddy! I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I hurt. Zoe, you okay? Daddy! I don't want to be here anymore. Okay, we got to be strong, sweetheart. We got to make it through this. You need to be strong right now, Pumpkin. I thought you said it's okay to be scared. I know I did. But right now, we have to be brave. I need your help tonight. Do you understand? I think so. Good. Do you think they're going to try to come in? I'm pretty sure. Any minute now. I don't want to go to jail. Then maybe you'd better hide. Listen, I'm going to get us out of here before... before the lights come back on. Okay? With Mommy and Grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. I'm surprised they haven't locked the dog up. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Are you guys all right? Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where are the holes? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. I'm gonna regret this. Run! We have to go now! No! Mommy! Michelle! God Sanchez damn it! Hit. I knew this was a bad idea. Fall back! Fall back! Hold fire! Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! Oh. 
Oh, shit, she's been shot. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. She needs an ambulance. Get her an ambulance. Fuck. Fuck! No, we can't. What happened to Mommy? Quick, Joyce, don't we have a... A first aid kit? Oh, my God. I'll go check. Shh. Just look at me. Look at me. What happened? I made a stupid decision. That's what happened. Honey, she's right here. Your mommy needs some space, darling. Help me get her to the couch. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. I know that look. It's bad, isn't it? Yeah, just a scratch. Barely grazed you. Don't lie to me, Vince. Vince, help me get the wound exposed. Quick! That's it. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God, honey. It didn't hit a major organ from what I can tell. But if she keeps losing the blood, it won't matter. Are you a paramedic or something? No. Just spent 324 days in the jungle north of Da Nang. Saw a lot of these. Uh. What? I, I couldn't find the first aid kit, but I got some tweezers, some pads. We're gonna take care of you, honey. Look, it went in her back and didn't come out the front. Means the bullet's still in there. Well, we, we gotta get it out then. Or something, don't we? I don't know, man. You dig around too much and they get infections. And my hands shake. If anyone's doing this, it's you. No, I don't no, want no, no, Please, no, get no, out. no. I don't have a choice. The game's gonna make me. Okay. Doing fine, sweetheart. I'm gonna fuck this up. It's okay. I've got it. I've got it. But that was easier than I thought it nice would be. Nice job, Doc. Now, let's get that thing cleaned up and covered. This here's the good stuff. It usually stays hidden. Paul's in recovery. Two years sober this July. Okay. It, it stings, but it's okay. Keep going. Okay, hand me that shawl. She should be all right for now. But we need to keep the pressure on this wound. No, no, stop. You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's right. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. You boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. But first, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Bet you delight. Give me 20 minutes. Good news, folks. One of you's going home. I got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning, good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset.
13 years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. <laughs> My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Oh, is there anything more stressful than moving? There is. I don't want to know. Well, this time next week, we'll be in our new place. Zoe will have a yard to run around in. We just have to survive three days in the car with your father first. Anyway, tonight is our last night. And it seems so long since we, you know. So, how about we make it one to remember? I gotta mention the text message. I'm sorry. Uh, by the way, you got a message. Something about Cupcake? Why did you... Vince, you've been reading my messages? It's not like that. No, I would never. Jesus, Vince. Gonna be her brother or something. Isn't Some it? things are private. It'll wake Zoe. Hello. Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you too. Oh, Co I'm sure you'll all do just fine without me. Good luck uh to you too. Someone from the university. The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Yes, like Bruce. Why does it even matter? Daddy? <sighs> Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. Even with my star lamp on. Daddy? Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, and mommy? Always. Even when we're old and gray and you have to tuck us in at night. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. I trust her. Come on. You never said anything about him before. I have. <sighs> Plenty of times, but whenever I try to talk about work, you switch off. I don't switch off. I just don't remember you talking about him. Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. It doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. <laughs> I need to leave on a high note. You know, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of... of wine. And perfume. Look at me. Vince. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? I'm sorry. 
maybe I overreacted. It's just, like you said, I've lost a lot this year. Don't want to lose you too. I know. It's all right. Now come here. I mean, I'm a trusting person. Maybe I'm a little bit too naive. Are you okay? No, it's fine. I'm just, um, I'm just tired with the move and everything. Yeah. We better get some sleep. We have a long drive tomorrow. Good night. Night. Get her up. She's gonna have to walk. Vince, don't let them send me out. I want it to be Zoe. You're hurt, honey. You need to get to a hospital. I know I look like death, but I promise I'm not actually dying. But Zoe, look at her, Vince. Please, just get her somewhere safe. What do you yeah. think? We should probably. Shall be okay here? Hard to say. I've seen it go a lot of different ways. I don't care who goes, but only one of them. Sit the kid. It's gotta be Zoe. She's seen enough for one night. <sighs> Fine. But what about mommy? She needs help. And she'll get it. But for now, the important thing is to get you somewhere safe. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. I'm watching you, Vince. My brave little girl. I'll see you really soon. Okay? Well, she's gonna die. Hey, mommy. Come on, kiddo. Dropped this. <laughs> Is there a secret message inside that bird? Owl. owl, huh? Oh, okay. You know they can see in the dark. Thanks. Okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. I've got eyes on two hostages. One more, one female child approaching from the front of the building. Over. Daddy, is mommy going to die? Oh, fuck me. Don't phrase them like that. Ugh. The answer is no. Because I'm here. And you know what I am? In aircraft mechanic? You're supposed to say superhero. Anyway, I promise no one from our family is gonna die. You can't promise her that. That's far enough. I'm Sheriff Romero. I guess you must be Vince. Best if we make this quick. brave for me, okay? I don't want to be brave. I want to be with you. Well, how about you stay with me? Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. <sighs> Daddy, please, don't go. I have to, Pumpkin. But what if you and Mommy don't come back? You know, all the best things about us, they're part of you already. So wherever you go, 
will always be with you. You will? Always. Hey, hurry it up! Come on, kid. Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, Vince. But I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? The cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. Helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. <sighs> I really hope you're right. I spent ten years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. <sighs> Vince, is Zoe okay? How are you feeling? Cold. Hmm. Tired. Wish I was back home. So, did you meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? Uh, he's up some. Clever guy. Plans within plans, if you know what I mean. Hmm. I'll tell you something I learned early on in life. Never trust a cop. You True! Steer clear. Don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff, ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm counting out cash. Jay, you gonna eat? I'm not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. Eat some goddamn food. Ooh, made some soup, huh? I haven't eaten anything. I should have eaten before I streamed. But here we are. Oh shit, I gotta make it. Uh... Share that with the rest of us. Um, nope. Don't think I do. Are you serious? Are you deaf? Hmm? No, you can't have any. Don't be an asshole. Share the pizza. can't have any there's six pizzas for us so back the fuck off you asshole paul has low blood sugar it's fine i'll eat from the vending machine no i said no the answer is no <laughs> shit hey how about we just do what we're told huh what the hell, man? We're all hungry. They need their strength. We can eat when we're free. 
When did you start giving two shits about us? You let one of us go. That counts for something. I really don't care what you think counts for what. They giving you problems? Nah. I got this. Oh, shit. Sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? It's Piplup. You get too fucking involved. If you just stayed quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. Never thought of it like that. What you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. I'm Jason to nature. Me? Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but I'm getting the job soon. There's this girl I got my eye on. It's it. not here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. I just got a fame interest. This girl, Jessica, you want to tell me about her? No, I don't want to fucking tell you about her. She's none of your goddamn business or anybody else's. In fact, don't ever say her name again. Then why the fuck did you bring her hey, up? I was just trying to, you know. What? Be my friend. Go fuck yourself, asshole. Whatever. Enjoy the pizza. I don't think pizza's happening, guys. <gasps> oh. I wasn't hungry anyway. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, out front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. I told Ma I'd look after you. It's all right. Put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Hey, tell Dante he better get us out of here. You have to hold me so tight. It's not my fault your neck's so fat. <laughs> Coming out. God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. They're never gonna let you out of the country. You know that, right? Hey, fuck you. Shut your mouth. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. Tranquilo. It's for Vince. Morphine. For your wife. I see mine suffer for years. You'll be glad you have it if it comes to that. All right. Take it. Thank you. Small time before today. An ugly assault a couple summers back. That's what Eddie left. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Anyway, I believe you have something of mine. Yeah. Black book. Where is it? The fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me. 
One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Have it your way. They don't have your stupid little black book. I'm going to regret this. Sniper. We ain't getting that chopper, are we? Nope. No. This can't be happening. Vince, she's getting worse. Excuse me? I'm sure his wife has the little black book. Like the sheriff's wife has the book, not these guys. These guys don't seem to know anything about it. But they found a lot of a car, so it's up to him. Cool. Oh, I'm fully aware the sheriff couldn't be fucked to care about anybody. He is corrupt as shit. I want to know what's in that little black book. Question is, do I want to sit here and play the next chapter, or do I want to go eat? How many chapters are in this game? Each one looks to be about an hour. I'm going to Google real quick before we continue. I'm going to see how many chapters. If there's just three chapters, we'll do the whole game in one sitting. <clears throat> how many chapters? God damn it. Chapters. Six chapters separated into two books. Each consisting of three. Okay. So. So the game would roughly be about six hours, give or take. 
is about how long the game would be. I think that's what we can call it for today. And uh, we'll pick back up here tomorrow. And we'll just play this game a little bit each day until we have her wrapped up. I'm very excited to be playing this, though. I've never played, like I said before, I've never played a branching game like this. I've seen many people play them over the years. I've always wanted to play one. I love these kind of games where, um, you know, you make decisions, you have the decision trees. Unless the Jurassic Park game counted. I think that may be the only one I've played where you clicked on stuff and make quick decisions. Yeah, because I never got around to playing the Back to the Future Telltale game because I heard bad things about it. But, uh, I think that's going to do it for me for today. What happens if I hit back to the main menu? Hopefully it saves from my place. Okay, yeah, we can just continue next time. My least favorite other than the sheriff? Hard to say. I don't think I have a least favorite. Um, probably one of the two of the brothers. I don't know. All right. See you, everybody. This music gets me fucking copyrighted on YouTube. I'm going to be so mad.